Hey guys, last month I subscribed to the Create Along box from createalong.com and today we're going to look at some of those items. Last month's theme was rebirth and renewal. I'm going to go ahead and read this to you real quick. When you receive this box it will almost be the new year. What better time to reflect on the ancient theme of rebirth? The lotus has been a symbol for this through the ages. It grows from the muddy bottom of the lake and each morning unfolds a beautiful perfect flower above the water. What we're looking at here is the Lotus Magic Transfer Paper. Um, these are pretty simple. You would cut one of these images out and you place it on clay. You let it sit there for a couple minutes and then you can drip water on top of the image and it will disintegrate the paper. Um, once that's broken up enough, you would put it under some running water and get rid of the rest of the paper. They're stupid simple and they're really cool. Um, the next thing we're going to look at is the Long Lotus Pond Silk Screen. I love this so much and I'm going to go ahead and show you a piece that I've made. I haven't finished it yet, but it looks really nice. I love these. Um, I've got some more here too. I don't know how well you can see these, but I love these. This works really well. You just set it down on a piece of clay, which I will show you now. You put the orange side down, okay? Take your roller. And you take paint. I'm just using uh, apple barrel acrylic paint. Take an old card, put some paint on it. If you need more, just add it real quick. You gotta wash this off real quick afterwards, otherwise the paint will dry on it. Slowly peel it back. And you have a beautiful image. I've got a thing of water here next to me. You really don't want to let this sit, otherwise it will stain and possibly damage your silk screen. I'm going to go rinse this off and then I'll be back. Hey guys, I'm back. I just wanted to show you this. Uh, sorry. Uh, there's not a very good way to see this with the way the camera's set up, but um, as you can see, a beautiful image. You would just let this dry, and once it's dried, you can go ahead and cut it out like these. The next thing I'm going to show you are the Lotus Texture Stacks set of six rubber stamps. I love these. I think these are beautiful. And these texture stamps are really good. And I'll show you something I've made with them. Here in a minute. In addition to that, I'm going to show you this real quick. This is the Fresh Golden Mint Pearly Powder. I love this. It's a beautiful color. It's very fine. It's uh, a Mika powder. And with this and one of these, I made this. I don't know how well you can see that, but a very nice color. I really like them. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. I'm not sure if I'm going to finish it or not. 
Um, I kind of got too much around the piece, but I do like it. Um, I really love that these stack. It makes putting them away very convenient. It comes with a bottom, but you can change that. You can take it off and have another bottom. And it comes with a top as well to protect it. These are really nice. Um, the next thing here is this. It's called Fluffy Heat Bond Fibers. Um, I don't particularly like this. I'm not really interested in this kind of stuff. But um, it is very nice looking. I like the color of it. But I'm not sure if I'm going to use this or not. But I do like it. These here... Oh, I keep hitting the camera. I apologize, guys. But these here are golden ceramic metallic hot fix stones. Um, I think they would make really good door handles. I don't know how well you can see one of these, but... I will try to show you. Um, they're really small. Um, they have different colors of these. And you could use them for toadstools or accenting jewelry. Oh, come on. They also like to stick to me. This here is called the the Rebirth of Paisley Molding Mat. I'm not sure if I said that right. Um, I don't really like this. Like, I like the designs, they're really nice, but it doesn't hold clay very well. It's honestly more trouble than it's worth, I think. I think they need to redesign this, but it does grab on this stuff really well. You can't really push it. So that's nice, but just, it's so thin that I, I'm afraid it's going to rip. Especially when I'm taking a blade and trying to cut off the excess clay. And it doesn't want to hold the clay. But these are nice designs. I think maybe you could use them to texture clay if you push it into it. I haven't tried that yet. Um, it collects dirt and hair like crazy. Like I said, I really like these. Um, the one problem with these, I think, is that they're so shallow that you can't use them for certain techniques like Mika Shift. This one is probably the best one for that. And it's still not very deep, as you can see. But these are really nice. Um, whether or not you want to subscribe to the box is determined on whether or not you want to get things you're not going to know about ahead of time. I like what I got here. A lot of it's really good and useful. I really love this texture stamp, or not texture stamp, uh, silk screen design. I haven't used the, uh, the transfer paper yet, but I'm looking forward to trying that out. Um, I'll be making another video on the Create Along box this month as well. Probably two of them. Um, they had a special Valentine's theme this month that I picked up, and I'm also picking up next month's box, so I've got at least two more videos coming out, hopefully this month. I do think it's worth it. It, it is costly, though. It's $32 and $5 shipping, so $37, and you don't know what you're going to get. This is my first box that I've ever had. Um, I do recommend it from what I've seen so far. But only time will tell whether I continue subscribing or not. But for as long as I'm subscribed, I will continue doing videos. Well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you will subscribe and like the video. Let me know what you think of all the different tools that you got in this box. I'll see you guys next time.